In this video, I am going to give you a small highlights about the USENET Zoom 2024 examination. For exploring more about the USENET examinations, you have to visit ugcnet.nta.ac.in. This is a new URL. Once again, ugcnet.nta.ac.in. And now the registration link is active. Is nothing but the link is live. Suppose you want to go for a registration, click this UC Net Zone 2024 registration. Before going to the registration process, just I am going to highlight some of the notification information. For getting the notifications or the public notice, we have to click this link. When you click this link, it leads to the, the public notice. Now this is a public notice. So this is a public notice. Uh, it is published 20th April 2024. These are things we are going to highlight now, some of the important dates. And uh, now we can see this, the submission of online applications form is 20th April to 10th May 2024 up to 11.50 PM. The last date for submission of examination fee is 11th May to 12th May 2024. And correction, suppose we done any mistakes, if you need to do further corrections work, we can go with this 30th May to 15th May. And the announcement of city, they may inform later. Similarly, downloading admission card data, also they inform later. And the date of examination, very important things, please kindly note, the date of examination 16th June 2024. This time, they kept only one day. The last year and all, they kept some kind of uh, phase, like phase one examination, phase two and all. This time, they are going to conduct the examination OMR based. Therefore, a single day that they may be conduct this entire subject examination. There is 83 subjects. I hope so. They may be conduct all the 83 subjects in a single date. Because that is the advantages of the OMR sheets. Uh, it seems it's an offline based examination. OMR means the people may be round mark this relevant answers in the OMR sheets. It's like a pen and paper based examination. Hope so this time's only offline examinations, only one day the examination. And the application fees details for general and reserve candidate they have to pay rupees thousand hundred and fifty for the EWS NCL category, I mean OBC category, they have to pay 600 rupees and the third gender or SCST or PW they may be paying rupees 325. This is the some of the basic information about the use in NET 2024. Hope it will might be useful for you. I'm going to highlight how we can go for a online registrations. For this online registration we have to click this use in NET June 2024 registration login link. When you click it, it leads the, the another this is the interface of the UGNet application. The URL usenet.nta online.in. Once again, usenet.nta online.in. And there's a three steps during the time of applying the usenet examination. The step number one, apply for online registration. Step number two, fill online application form. Step number three, pay the examination fee. So there is a three steps. You should be remember these things. And when you click this new candidate register, it leads the another page. In this page, we may get some of the instruction procedures of the online submission of the application form. This is a payment detail we already discussed, and uh, I'm just highlighting some of these document uh, which is needed during your online registration time. And the recent photograph should be either color or black and white within 80% of face visibility is needed. Scan photograph and signature should be in JPEG format but clearly legible. The size of scan photograph should be between 10 KB to 200 KB. The size of scan signature that also we need to be at should be between 4 KB to 30 KB. That's also clearly legible. These are the things you must be aware of it and uh, the main things during the registration time you need to create a password and the password they made some kind of policy uh, the password must have gate to 13 character at least one uppercase one lower case one numerical value as well one special characters so these are things you be remember during the time of registration suppose you want to know more about that instruction or information about this using it kindly click this download information bulletin when you click it here you can find this kind of uh, you can find this is an information bulletin. This information bulletin consists of 54 pages. And this is a home page using it, June 2024. This is a home page of this. Uh, in this notifications, I'm just going to highlight some of the important uh, things. 
this time they added the third category also the last time and all only two category category one and category two category one is jrf category two means only the astronaut also like the two category but this is the first time the ugc introduce a three category of uh, eligibility that we are going to discuss the category one award of jrf and appointment as an assistant professor so this those who are getting this qualified qualified as a category one they may be eligible for jrf they may be eligible for assistant professor post they may be eligible for phd admission also and uh, the category two so those people appoint as an assistant professor and admission to phd this is in category two that people they not be eligible for a jrf they may be eligible for assistant professor they may be eligible for phd admission but they have to join the phd within a year and the category 3 is a new category this is the time they introduced this is called admission to phd only and these people those who are getting the category qualified the category 3 they are not eligible for jrf they are not eligible for assistant professor they may be eligible for phd only but within a year they have to join so this a new changes happen and the other one, the JRF qualified candidate um, are admitted to the PhD program based on the interview. Normally, after getting the JRF, um, we had to go for a PhD. That time, the institution may conduct some kind of uh, interview. Based on this, only they will selecting the candidate for the PhD. But the category two and three, they can treat this uh, our the category two and category three people. They need to be right in special examination because this qualification can treat it as a PhD admission and they may be conduct some interview from this interview they may be selecting you and for the candidates under the category 2 and that category 3 marks obtained the net will be 70% weightage and 30% weightage will be based on the performance of the interview while was conducted at the university and for the admission of PhD the mark obtained in the net by the candidates category 2 and 3 will be valid period only one year can you note this so this qualification like category 2 and category qualifications those like to join the PhD within a year you have to join the PhD otherwise it won't be what is that eligible you might not be eligible after one year you could if you show this certificates to the institution they won't be allowed for admission process at all so these are things you must be aware of it and the other things uh, the main things the mode of examinations as already point of the exam shall be conducted OMR based so that is a things is very uh, important I like to focus it because last a few years the UGC net uh, examination conducted by online mode uh, like a CBT mode computer based test mode but this is a time they move to like a old mode like a OMR and the people may be mark the answers from the sheets in a paper pen basis and the pattern of examination there is 100 mark with 50 question the paper one the paper to consider 200 mark with 100 questions do you know the paper one is a general paper normally the teaching research aptitude it may be checking the reasoning ability reading comprehension of these students and the category two is purely based on these their subject domain and the other one the medium of question paper the medium of question paper shall be in either english or hindi only please kindly note so you cannot find these um, other regional language particularly in the first paper suppose you are basically Malayalam student or Tamil student uh, uh, Tamil subjects then your second paper might be your specific language but other than the the language students are uh, they taking as a domain they may find a second paper only in English or Hindi medium only and uh, in case any ambiguity in translation concession question in examination in English version shall be treated as a final and the decision of entry shall be final in this record and marking scheme he knows that the old scheme only each question two marks there is no negative mark these are things they follow the uh, the old regulations only yes now we are going to discuss the age limit and relaxations for the JRF students not more than 30 years as an date of 1 6 2024 those who have crossed the age more than 30 on the date of 1 6 2024 they are not able to apply for jrf examination particularly general unreserved candidate but those people those who are from obc or SCST or pw or third gender they have the relation for five years so they may be apply up to 35 years and this is only for jrf for the assistant professor as well as the the category 3 admission to phd like category 2 and category 3 there is no upper age limit so therefore don't worry about this even if you are class more than 40 you are class more than 50 also you are eligible to apply assistant professor 
as well as the admission to PhD. And this is the reservation policy, it's like a government reservation policy, there is no changes in this. And uh, yes, here I am um, highlighting some of the appendix two things, uh, like list of net subjects and their codes. So here 83 subjects, each subject having a specific codes, kindly look on to this before going to apply a use in it. And the second one, uh, this is for the subject wise, there is a separate code also that this also you have to look on to this because these are things might need it during the time of uh, online application, this is called appendix 3. Then appendix 4, uh, each subjects like uh, each pro um, program like a master of education is 7, uh, master of law it is in 3, master of uh, Ayurveda, sorry Ayurveda Charya it is 1, master of dance like this each subject wise there is a separate code and there is a state wise also for example you like to write the examination on some specific state we need to aware of the code of the the particular state this was appendix 5 it's annexure uh, it is there and uh, this is an annexure uh, 6 they are discussing about how the peoples may be qualified they are talking about the percentage so they given some kind of examination how they convert this course into percentage hope this kind of videos might be useful for you and uh, just i'm going to highlight two important changes happened this time now there's a three category of qualification the category one jr of the category two assistant professor and the phd category three only for phd and the another changes happened this time um, the omr based examination so please be ready for the examination on the list to all of the all the use in the test thank you all bye